Okay, everybody asking about the zero and trade shit. Listen, I was trying to be Pimp C years ago with the knocking those down thing and try to make them squash their beef. I was really championing it. I thought the shit was gonna happen. I felt like I was getting close. I got a call from my family. My brother saying, man, stay out that shit. It's deeper than what you think. People went to jail, all kind of shit. So just stay out of that shit. I said, okay, because they got a longer history than me and them. I don't. I met Zero way after uh, Trey. They family or whatever. So I don't, you know, I don't get in family business, and I don't get in really south side business like that, man. I'm on the north. I can't. What I look like, you know. Of course, I don't like it. Of course, I uh, wish both of them well, but <clears throat> you know what I'm saying. I stay out of people business, family business at least, you know. But I definitely shot my shot at. Uh, <clears throat> You know, um, trying to squash the whatever, because you know I ain't with none of that. So, and that's what it is. So, you know, uh, hopefully they move on and fix the situation, because I hate it. You know, I hate the. I think they need to do music together and all that. But you know, what do I know? I don't know nobody background or nothing like that. I don't know what's going on. So, I just shut the fuck up at this point and mind my business. You know what I'm saying? That's what you got to do sometimes when you ain't really informed on everything and it's family you know you can't get in the way of that so i just let them you know do them and figure it out even though i hate to see it though you know what i'm saying yo it's big ant the spokesman man back another edition of urban politicians tv up tv make sure you stay on your pivot at all times man had to come tap in real quick on hollering at his fans his supporters and they asked him about the situation zero and trey like I said, man, this went bigger than Houston. This went global. People want to know. Slim Thug is one of the faces of that era of music in the city. He go down as an ace time legend also. And it's crazy to see Zero on the ground like that. So people like, it went that far. But Slim Thug say he was trying to work on it behind the scenes, trying to squash it. And I'm sure he probably wasn't the only one. But he said people told him, hey, bro, you got to fall back on that. That's some family stuff. And it's crazy because it be like that sometimes. You got Houston artists who don't have a problem with each other out here in the city at all. But they just don't intertwine the talk. It don't mean they necessarily got beef. Then you got artists like Slim Thug and Zero. At one point in time, they had a problem. Pimp C was instrumental in getting a lot of these things solved. And boys eventually got over them. Like he said, the knocking those dying song. It was a point where all the rappers, uh, Jay Prince had everybody pull up to his ranch to take a picture. Beef, plex or not, nigga, y'all pull up to the ranch. We finna do this the Ace Time way because we have a heavy culture of rappers in that era that came from the underground that were able to make noise and get bigger and outside of the city. They did their thing in the city, but they went even further. Everybody pulled up and rocked with Jay Prince at the ranch that day. I remember they made the cover of the magazine. But, you know, sometimes niggas fall out again. All types of things go on. But Slim Thug tried to highlight them. Him and Zero put their differences down and got cool. Trey and Slim, they cool. Everything be straight at times, but, hey, it be like this, man. And it's tough to see this for Zero. Anybody in the city, don't nobody want to see a legend from their city on the ground getting hit. It ain't none of my personal business. All I can speak on what go on on the internet, what got put out there. I can't tell Jay Tun how to feel with the situation when he explained his side of the story. It's just when the public see it and it get put on video, then it go viral, it put the entire world in your business and the entire world got an opinion. And now a lot of things can't get fixed at certain times. So hopefully they can just agree to disagree and it seems like that's the road it's gonna go down. Hey man, we just gonna stay away from each other. Seems like that's the approach that Zero is gonna take. And I hope it just stay like that. And I'm pretty sure it will, bro. Niggas is older. Niggas got families. Niggas got kids, nigga. Niggas then did all the young nigga shit. And it's crazy that it even went this far. But it be like that sometimes. Sometimes things get out of hand. Tell me what y'all think. We got more shit coming, man. I'm forever going to rip H Time, Texas. I'm going to for sure want to see the entire city win. And it ain't my beef or nothing like that. But I just want everybody to prevail and go up to the next level, man. 1,000. Stay on your pivot for shit show. More coming.